In this video, Kevin and I are going to be trying five different brands of cranberry sauce. We have the Kroger brand, it was $1.69. We have the Great Value brand, which is Walmart, it was $1.36. Next to that is the Ocean Spray, it was $1.98 and we bought it at Walmart. The uh, Woodstock was $3.39 at Good Foods Co-op. And the best choice was $1.69 at a place called Critchfield Meats. Okay, so I have, uh, Kevin and I have uh, an observation about these cans. These cans are different than any other cans because it's like they're all made upside down, the labels. So like you wouldn't open this side of the can. This is the side of the can that has the indention to open it up, but it's upside down. So we don't know why it's just cranberry sauce that we've noticed. It's made this way, um, but that's, that's the way it's made. So I'm gonna go through here and open all of these. So now we're gonna open each, I have a big platter. And we're gonna open these up. And another thing you should know is that Kevin and I have never tried these before. If I've, I did, it's been so long ago. I can honestly tell you I've never had cranberry sauce, never done this before, so this is new. Is it supposed to slide right out? I have no clue. Okay, I'm squeezing the can. Are you supposed to open both sides, maybe? Maybe. I don't know if this can open Does it say that. on there? If used by date on the end, refrigerate. I thought it would slide right out, didn't you? We have to have a maybe you loosen it up with here. a knife. Okay. Give it some air on the other end is what you need. Oh, that yeah. works. That works. So you gotta let some air in. Wow, okay. That's the Kroger. And I am even gonna wipe my knife off in between each time so that we don't, there's no cross contamination. Let me see if this will come out on its own. Nope. Nope, you gotta have, you have to stick a knife in there. Put the knife down into it a little bit. To let air back in there. There you go. It creates a suction on the bottom so you can't, won't come out. Okay, so that must just be the trick with all of them. Wow, that, <laughs> once it started coming out, there was no stopping it. Okay. Are you gonna remember this order? I'll put these next to them, like this. There we go, and then this one's this. Okay, one more. There we go. So Kevin wants me to lay them down. Just so we can so I'm just going to, yeah, because I've heard people talk about these over the years, and they say that they cut them, you, you go by the, the little rings in the can, and that's how you know where to cut them into slices. So I'm going to lay them like this. So I'm going to, um, I know I'll get a couple questions, why did we choose these and not other ones? Well, the reason there isn't Trader Joe's in here is because Trader Joe's, uh, we asked at Trader Joe's very specifically, Trader Joe's only sells either fresh uh, cranberry relish over in like the produce department, or they sell it in a jar. Uh, so it is not canned. We specifically wanted to compare one can to another, not jars. Um, and then Kevin went in Aldi, and Aldi only had a, like a relish of some a or jar. A jam. It was a no, it was a cranberry something preserve. So it was not the. It what it did not say cranberry sauce. Right. These, it definitely wasn't in a can. Yeah. These specifically say like 
Jelly. jellied cranberry yeah. sauce and that's why they're all here mm -hmm. so a lot of you will say well this brand's great well this brand's greater you should have done this and that that's it, it wasn't equal to these and so we wanted all of these to be equal so mm -hmm. it would be fair it's amazing it, the color difference between them it's very interesting to me that all five of these are made in completely different states so uh it, it'll be interesting to see how they taste i have never in my life tried this so this is totally new to me i hope i like it because i have to eat it five times <laughs> um do you want to start where we opened them yeah we can start with kroger Go, okay. do this to like store brands okay so this is the kroger and it is made in cincinnati ohio it is there's six servings in the container a fourth of a cup is 110 calories Okay, so this is the yeah, I just We didn't slice it, we're just going to take a spoonful. Okay. Do you normally just eat it plain? That's I didn't I know whether you were supposed to heat it Everything or I looked up, which like we chill said, it? we don't eat it. No, everybody said that they just eat it room temperature. What's in it? And you could, I mean. Cranberries, some, high fructose corn syrup, filtered water, and corn syrup. Some people said they actually, um warm it up some people say they like it cold i think it's just whatever you you know you do whatever you prefer from what i have heard most people just open it and serve yep. it um that's not as tart as i was afraid it was going to be no um because you know some cranberries are very 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 tart especially and, just ripe ones and you know people aren't going to want this tart relish at, at Thanksgiving. I mean, why would you want that? You would want something sweeter. I could see mixing that with your turkey. Like eating that with your turkey. Well, I think that's what people Yeah, do. that would be a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to necessarily eat it by itself. It's not something I would just take spoonfuls of. Mm -hmm. It would be really good if it's mixed with something more savory. Mm -hmm. To add that little punch of like a sweetness and, and acidity and a little tartness to it. Now that he says that, mix it with turkey, it seems like, and I don't know why the UK is coming to my mind, but it seems like you could go in like M&S or Tesco or one of those places and they had a sandwich, one of those ready-made yeah, sandwiches cranberry. with cranberry and, and turkey. Uh, turkey. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't the UK, maybe it was someplace here, it right here, but I don't know why those pre-made sandwiches came to my mind. Um, but I think they do have sandwiches that have that on there. Could be. Um, but I, I could, that's how I would eat it. Mm -hmm. That's how probably most people do it. But that, that's decent. I mean, it's not bad by any means. No. It, we don't know what to compare it to yet. Though, no, so, so, <laughs> so we got to keep going. So the next one's the Walmart. It is from Arkansas. Uh, six servings, a fourth of a cup is 110 calories. Same exact calories. They're all 110, believe it or not. You know what? It's easier to get it off. Well, I'm assuming the berries have settled. You know, that's not bad at all, right? By, by itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you could definitely just, just eat that. The texture is a little... The, the Kroger brand was a little grainy. Mm -hmm. That one's maybe just a touch grainier. Uh -huh. But not bad in any, in any way, shape, or form. Did you get any berries in yours? No. I, I, in the Kroger one, I instantly got berries. Oh, oh I got a little... Mm. I got berries in the Kroger one. I just tried another bite of the Kroger and I got like a little seed or something. Mm -hmm. There's actual berries in there. I got a whole mm. mouthful of berries. Oh, no. Uh, I, well, but I didn't take a big bite. I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I've never had it before. Well, I'm trying to, I'm going to ruin this Walmart one, but I'm trying to see if there's any berries in there. I don't see any. Well, you know they are using real cranberries. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they have actual berries in it. Right. No, the Kroger, I actually got a seed. This one... It, this one says whole berry cranberry sauce. Oh. This one just says jelly, jelly. cranberry. So maybe there's a I different. tried to get just jellied in all of them. That, that's all the Kroger had. Mm -hmm. That's good though. It's very, it's sweeter. It seems sweeter and mm -hmm. less tart. I agree. And the, I agree. The Walmart seems sweeter than the Kroger brand. But it could be because the Kroger's got the berries in it. Exactly. Okay, the next one is the Ocean Spray. It's made in Massachusetts. And it's the same calories. Yeah, I'm thinking they're all. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So this is like this one's all jelly too. The um, this is very smooth. 
Um, the ocean spray you is the one that we saw like everywhere. Like all the stores sell the ocean spray. Even the more expensive stores like um, Fresh Market okay. and Ocean Spray. I am not a diehard brand person. Some things I buy just the same brand. But nor I'm not a brand snob. I'll say that about most things. But there is a clear difference in the texture mm -hmm. it's of, of that Ocean Spray compared to the Kroger or the Great Bayou. It is a, 10 times smoother. It is. And it's like it it's also been strained. Have that no, no grittiness, no graininess. It's like it's been strained and strained and strained mm -hmm. and strained. It's also just a little tartar. I agree. <laughs> it lacks the sweetness, which is funny since they're all the same calories. Yeah. You would think it'd be a little different, but it is the tartest, I think, of the three. Uh, I think the Kroger brand was a little more tart, Do you? but, See, I, but think I still think the Ocean Spray is right there. I think the Ocean Spray is the tartest. If I'm eating turkey, honestly, I could imagine the tartness would be a good thing. Right. Not the tartness. Tartness. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we don't want Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on. The next one is called Woodstock, mm -hmm. and it is made in California. It's organic. And it is organic. Uh, yeah, uh, it's the organic one. So okay. it, it costs a little bit more. Um, a little bit and even... It's double. It's, Almost double. Yeah, it was very expensive. It was $3.39, whereas the cheapest one was $1.36. It's the thickest. Like mm -hmm. the most dense. Mm -hmm. I agree. The flavor's good, though. The flavor's really good. I mean, I, almost, I like that as much as the Ocean Spray. The Ocean Spray, I love the texture of the Ocean Spray, but I wouldn't buy the Ocean Spray again. I can tell you that right now. I love the texture of it. It's wonderful, but it's too tart. I'm thinking if, if I'm going to buy it and eat it, I'm going to go with something sweeter. I'm thinking if you're mixing it with turkey, though. Um, I think the tartness is what you want. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to eat it with my turkey. So, <laughs> I, I eat dressing with my turkey. Um, so, um, I like the, I like this one, I like but it, it is much lot. more dense. Uh, it is much more dense, but I love the sweetness level of it. Yeah, it's, it's right sweeter. up there with the great value as far as sweetness mm -hmm. goes. But I, it does have a little tartness too, so it's sweet and tart. I even, I might go back at the end and try the great value in that one again because I do think, I think that one is, the organic one is the sweetest. The sweetest one. Okay, now the last one is called Best Choice and it's from Kansas. Okay, I keep looking. And it is the weirdest, colors. it's the weirdest color. It's more of a maroon than a burgundy. This kind of is, is, there's something odd with them. Different. This is so different that people eat this because it's almost, it's not like a, a gummy bear texture, but it's almost like you would have the same texture in like candies that we've had. Like we've not, had candies like that. Yeah, like not, not totally gummy, but just, but that going that way, you know? So it's odd that people have this texture for it, It's kind of like the filling in the side of a Twizzler, the ropes. Yeah. It's kind of that it's, thicker, yeah. grittier kind of texture. They're all kind of gritty. But not that ocean spray. The ocean spray is not green at all. At but all. all the rest of them have a little bit of a not sandy, but just a texture to them. This one has the least flavor. It's it's got and it's a little bit of an odd flavor. It's like I, I can taste more of like the can. I don't have anything against it. It's not bad, but to me, that uh, the best choice. There, I mean, if you buy it and serve it for Thanksgiving, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but you're definitely not getting the flavor that you're getting in all the other ones. Mm -hmm. it, it has the least flavor. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go do organic, and then we're gonna do Walmart, which is the sweeter. Um, they taste very similar, honestly. The texture's a little different, but it, they taste very similar. Okay. I'm just uh, mastering these. Uh... They do taste very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Like they could have come out of the same company. The, uh, the Woodstock one is still more dense. 
it's very it's heavier mm -hmm. whereas the walmart's a little bit lighter not i mean lighter is a bad term for it but it's not quite as packed mm -hmm. um do you have an order the kroger one has to be kind of separate because it, it's the only one that actually has berries in it i didn't realize well i didn't realize i tried to get all cream jellied but that's all that Kroger had. Well, it's a, it is a jelly one. It just happens to have berries in it. It has berries in but it. But I like the flavor of the Kroger one. I do too. And the flavor of the Kroger one is a very good, fresh berry kind of flavor with too. a good texture. So I would like that if you have a Kroger in the area, you could get that for sure. Okay. So let me tell you, just as far as prices go, again, the Woodstock organic one was $3.39. That was the most expensive. And then the, the great value, the Walmart brand was the cheapest. It was $1.36. Um, so. Weren't the rest of them this, basically the same? Their, uh, Kroger brand was $1.69. Best Choice was $1.69. And Ocean Spray was $1.98. And that was bought at Walmart. So that's probably the cheapest price you're going to get that Ocean Spray. Right. Unless it goes on sale. Because Walmart's pretty cheap. So not, unless you have an HEB. Um, okay. Okay. What is your order? Because I have mine too. I'm thinking with something else, I wouldn't eat these by themselves. If I'm eating it with something savory, I want a little tartness. So I'm probably going to go with the uh, ocean spray. Mm -hmm. And then probably the great value and then the Kroger. Okay. Kevin just like. The best choice I would not buy at all because it doesn't have much. In a completely opposite direction of me. If you're eating them by themselves. I, you don't eat them by themselves. Uh, well, if I'm, eating judge, it by itself, if I'm eating it by itself, I'd probably do the Woodstock or the Great Value, either one of those two. Thank you. If he's eating them by themselves, yeah. he's going to pick, yes. But Great Value was my number two anyway. So. Okay. I'm going to go with the, the Woodstock, of course, the most expensive one. I'm going to go with the Woodstock Organic as my number one because it is the sweetest one here. And if I, I'm going to be eating it by itself... Um, so that's the sweetest one. Then I'm going to go with great value because that's the second sweetest one. And, uh, and it's great. So for us, we don't have that wood stuff around us. We found that at a very expensive store anyway. So for me, I, uh, in everyday life, I'd be buying the great value all the time. So if yeah. you have a Walmart, you need to buy their, that, that's the one to buy. Uh, but it's not like Ocean Spray, I'd get it at Walmart as well, probably, because it's pretty cheap. I'm going to go with the Kroger as my third. Mm -hmm. I did my Kroger as my third. Um, and I'm going to go with Ocean Spray as my fourth. And the only reason I'm going with Ocean Spray as fourth, because I actually really, really like the texture of it the best. Because it's the smoothest, it's so easy to eat. Um, so that has the best texture here. But it's so tart. It's tarter than all these other ones. Um, and then I'm going to go with the best choice is going to be my best choice is going to be the last choice. Yeah. It just doesn't have the flavor. It doesn't have it. it no, the flavor's not there. If you want something really, really light, if you're maybe not a fan of cranberry, but you eat it at Thanksgiving because you feel like you have to, then that would be the one to go yeah. with. Uh, I, I like the ocean spray because, like I said, I think it would taste the best with turkey. It probably would because it does have that tartness. Mm -hmm. And I do think it's top-notch quality. Yeah. Um, Ocean Spray definitely. I mean, that that's why they sell it everywhere is because it's, it's really mm -hmm. good. <laughs> I, and I believe that. That's fine. But, but I, like you said, if you're going to eat it by yourself, I'd pick the great value as well. Mm -hmm. So let us know your thoughts. Have you tried different cranberry sauces and stuff like that? My, yeah, how do you make yours too? My mom, um, I never tried it. But she used to make a cranberry relish, mm -hmm. and it looked, it was kind of, it wasn't. It was chunky, and it had stuff in it. Yeah, it was kind of like, it looked kind of chunky, but fibrous, mm -hmm. and it didn't, it just didn't look like anything I wanted any part of. Mm -hmm. uh, but, it, you know, you could take this Kroger brand and break it up with a fork and get the berries and stuff, and probably... Put it out as a, like a relish like But that. I do think most people, when they serve it, now some people really like to go buy those That's lines. That's what the picture on the cans And they like, Yeah, the great value has Yeah, they like to serve it like that. that. But I do think That's some people, I have seen pictures of it too, in a bowl where they break it up. And it looks more like jello. It looks like jello. Yeah, but every picture you see on the cans, they're all sliced. Sliced, yeah. 
Um, yeah, even that, no, maybe not. I don't know, that one's hard to tell. So would you rather have your cranberry sauce sliced I'd rather have it or sliced. broken up? I could see it sliced, uh -huh. laying on my plate, put uh -huh. my turkey kind of on top of it, and then as I'm eating the turkey, I'm getting a little bit of the cranberry sauce. Okay, no, that's... That's how I would eat it. The, if I was going to eat it with my turkey, I would put the cranberry on top of the turkey. I'll put it underneath that way, when you squish down through your turkey, you're getting pieces of the... This is like the old debate: what comes first, the uh, <laughs> the the jam or the 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 cream? You know, I mean, there's a, there's an order to these things. I think the cranberry needs to go on top of the the turkey. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.